this very pretty phone turns into this very pretty thing with two screens. We're unboxing the LG Velvet, doing a quick camera tour, and trying to see what that dual screen case, yes guys, it's a case, can do. Guys, we're unboxing a phone that I am legitimately so excited for. Hello, you beautiful people. Welcome to Isa Does Tech, where we do tech in your real life, in style. If you haven't already guessed, well, let me tell you, we are unboxing the LG Velvet. Now, you might be at home thinking, the LG Velvet? What's that? Well, guys, the LG Velvet is LG's newest attempt at a new design language. From what I gather, better colors, an amazing curved display, and well, a rear camera array that actually looks good. And aside from all that, I just got sent this. And this is LG's dual screen case for the LG Velvet. Basically, what we have in our hands is a very elegant phone with a potential for two screens. I cannot wait to see this in person, so let's get to the unboxing. So this is a pretty straightforward box, Velvet, and then on this side, it says powered by ThinkQ, and it's a 5G phone. On the back, we have Qualcomm Snapdragon branding and stuff in korean this is after all a phone that was shipped to us from korea here we have a bunch of other stuff but all i can really make out is velvet so let's get on to the unboxing oh that looks pretty okay i'm so excited i am gonna put this aside let's check what else is in here we have that's a cute sim eject tool. That will make for really cute earrings. <laughs> we have what I am assuming are manuals and warranties. LG power brick, power cord, so that's a USB-C and a USB-A. Earphone things and the earphones. That's nice because the, the cord is braided. There's a headphone jack. We'll see. Nothing else in the box. <laughs> On to the phone. So here it says LG Velvet, sleek and premium design. I mean, I can feel that in my hands already. Easy creation camera, OLED cinematic full vision, and it's IP68 water and dust resistant. Now, onto the moment of truth so I can see what color I got. <gasps> <laughs> oh my gosh this is the color i want this is the sunset illusion wait what's it called illusion sunset ladies and gentlemen i'm so happy oh my gosh this is my new favorite phone color look at this okay let me calm down right so aside from being very pretty this phone feels premium it has a very good weight to it that curved display makes it like very comfortable on the hands that back does not sound like glass might be glastic i'm not sure yet but i feel like it's the solid frames on the side that make it feel so premium also can we take a second to appreciate this camera array i love how that looks so elegant compared to all the other phones in the market right now so up front, it looks like we have a teardrop notch. Again, as you can see, that's a display that spills over to the side and then that frame continues on all over the phone. And on this side, we have a power button. At the bottom, speakers, USB-C, audio jack. And then as we turn here, you can see how that same frame spills onto the sides. On this side, we have what I'm assuming are volume rockers and then another button. Up top, SIM tray and another mic. So powering this on and you know what's next. It's a montage. Oh my God, guys, wait, before we do the montage, we forgot something. So I've done videos on the LG dual screen case and i actually really like this thing except usually the phones they came with weren't as stylish as 
So yeah, now I'm really excited to see. So here it says LG Velvet, LG Dual Screen. <laughs> then I can't understand. Also, yes, this is an original LG accessory. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Guys, it's freaking white. <gasps> oh my gosh. Wow. So we have screen up front and slots for the cameras on the back, a little texture. At the bottom, you also have space for the audio port. Here we go. This is how you connect the phone. USB-C here and you put the phone in. And then for charging, we have this attachment where you plug your USB-C in and it's magnetic. My God. Isn't this the prettiest thing? Okay, so I know that you guys are as curious as I am, so let's plug it in. Automatically, you get a prompt. <gasps> there you go, wow, wow. <gasps> okay, time for a montage. Here we are. So we usually do camera tours in this part of the video, but we also usually have phones with no dual screen cases. So let's talk about this awesome case for a hot second. Now you might be thinking, Isa, why are you so crazy over the fact that this thing has a dual case? Well, first of all, the very first time I tried a dual case, it was with a V. 50 and this is what the case looks like and as fun as it was to use it wasn't the prettiest thing and now we have this another thing was that i enjoyed using that dual screen on the v50 but i always thought it would be so great if it had a notification bar up front and this thing has it too and aside from that if you didn't know any better this actually could be mistaken as a cute little clutch I adore this thing and how it looks and also can we please appreciate how cute this all is when it opens and well this case also folds this way so if you're over the dual screen thing but are too lazy to take it off you can just use it this way this case also features buttons on this side and then again at the bottom we've seen the sports and on this side it's pretty much open now, granted that it does get thicker when you add the case on i mean that's how physics works you basically get an extra screen and with that come the extra thickness but what's great about this is that it also gives you the choice. You can opt not to have it on and then you have a normal phone all over again. Once you put the phone on, this will give you a prompt and you can change settings from this menu. Well folks, aside from the fact that it's really, really, really fun to use, you can do stuff like this. For example, watch my videos as let's say you send out emails. When you tap this cute whale icon, it brings you to Google on both pages. And what this does is it allows you a really cool multitasking hack. So for example, you're looking for LG Velvet and you're scrolling through here trying to find the article you want to read, right? But let's say I double tap the specs from GSM Arena and continue on browsing. It gives you the GSM Arena page on the right side but keeps your original browsing page on the left. From the dual screen window, you can also check out all the different apps. And of course, we can do some games. So for example, Asphalt 9. This case gives you the LG gamepad and voila, this case just opened up a whole new mobile gaming experience for you. 
And then you have multi-app shortcuts, which basically pairs two apps that you'd most probably be using together, like for example, the camera and the gallery. So if I take a photo here, I automatically get a preview here, which is super useful. There's also gallery and memos, recorder and memos, and you can make your own shortcut. So for example, I already made mine and that would be like YouTube and Google Docs. This means I can watch videos as I write down notes. Wait, before we move on to the camera and before I take out this case, let me show you what else I use this for. Basically, it becomes an instant stand for all your photos. So for example, I can prop this up anywhere and be like, And please guys, a moment of appreciation for this color. I must say it, this is my top pick for this year's favorite phone color. Right, so now that you can see everything, let's go to cameras. Hey, yeah, 1X, 2X, my God, look at that phone. And wide, but then you can zoom up until 10X. And then settings different filters, flash settings, timer settings, and then on portrait mode, you have the different, ooh, I like this, cartoon mode, <laughs> look at that. But yeah, you have different effects as well. And then you can adjust the bokeh, the blur. Ooh, I love stickers. Ah, that's so cute. Ooh, look at this. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That is so realistic and freaky. Lol, look, I'm a clown. Just like a lot of people we've been seeing on the news these days. Ooh. Midnight all alone in the moon. <laughs> Under more, you have the night view, panorama mode, manual camera. Let's check this out. So we have the different settings. On ISO, you can go from 50 to 3200. Shutter speed is at 20 and 1 over 4000. We have focus that ranges from macro to wide. Oh, and also focus speaking. So I can't find the aperture settings, although it says here that it's an aperture of 1.8. You also have slow-mo mode, YouTube live, that's cool, and AR stickers. On the other side, we have video. Oh, they have ASMR recording. I tried this on my, if I'm not mistaken, LG g8x video check that out and then they also have voice bokeh which basically means it focuses on a specific voice and filters out the ambient noise that's cool i really need that so this button here gives you basic audio settings asmr recording settings and your voice bokeh. You can shoot up until 4K. There's also a steady mode. You can shoot video in wide 1X and up until 8X. Then there is time-lapse recording, which allows you to switch settings to time for the selfie. So this is the photo mode. There is no zooming in or out. Here, there is a beauty mode that gives you a smoothing option. Let's put it at like two. On portrait mode, you still have the bokeh settings. Of course, AR sticker. I mean, come on. Oh, this is so cute. You can also do AR stickers on this side. You have selfie video, but there is no zooming in or out. And you can shoot up until, wait, 4K? 4K front-facing camera, that's cool, nice. Okay, no time-lapse for selfie. And that's it for the camera tour. Oh my God, so good. So I was just checking out the random photos that I took while I shot that camera tour and I saw that it had this option which is basically AI. So it's the original photo plus a version fixed and edited by AI to make it like look better. Okay, seriously though, seriously though. 
Hands down, the LG Velvet is the prettiest smartphone I've seen this year. It might actually be my favorite phone color yet. We've only scratched the surface of what the LG Velvet can do and I am seriously loving this thing. Honestly, it's also because I've always thought LG phones to be good but they've never really appealed to me because they always just seem so serious and businessy. And now we have this and this basically is something that I would love to have in my hands. Dare I say that LG has finally decided to create a phone that fits my lifestyle needs? That's another big question that I will have to answer in the review. I am so excited to find out so stay tuned for the whole review. Let me know what your questions are too. That's it for this video. If you want to see how I use this phone on a daily basis, you can find me online. That's at Sisa Said. Until next time, guys. Bye.